when we started the journey with Christian Veterinary Mission, and we started in Nakuru, Kenya, and so God showed us a vision for South Sudan um, through a, a short-term veterinary trip that I was part of. And so we moved from Nakuru and moved to Tarit in 2017 and have been working there with the AIM team in South Sudan um, since then. I was serving at a church in Minnesota and Gina was working at a vet clinic part-time. And in 2016, our church had a missions conference and Dr. Fred Van Gorkum and his wife Vicki came uh, to speak at the missions conference. They shared about a team that was forming in Tarit, South Sudan. And so then in uh, the summer of 2018, the six of us loaded up some totes and we headed to Nairobi uh, as we traveled into our new home in Tarit. So because of the fight that has been taking place between Keala and their neighboring village called Havorere, uh, one of the uh, people from Havorere came very near to our village and they found my father was rearing uh, the, the goats and they began to sort him, to, to shoot him and he died. And this issue is happening because my people do not know the word of God. Uh, but I still have that vision that one day I myself will go and be also a kingdom builder in my very place so that my people will come to know who Christ is. We go out and do the Newcastle vaccine. They've gotten to know some of the people that we repeat visit. And at each household that we come to, um, at the end after vaccines, uh, we will stop and have a little time of prayer, ask the people, how can we pray for your family? What you don't get from an international news perspective is the individual lives that live and thrive in a situation like South Sudan, where you think nothing could thrive in their daily work of grinding sorghum from their family or going to the garden. There is just genuine life that is happening inside of believers all over South Sudan.